everybody and welcome back to Amnesia Dark Descent. Last time we left off, there was apparently an enemy nearby. down there. Use wood down and don't do improve your health. My health is good. A few cuts and bruises, never mind. Do I really need it? It's only a few cuts and bruises. I think I'm good. They have like sanity medicine? Dot dot dot. It's my sanity. <laughs> so I guess when my vision stops a little bit wobbling, I'll be good. And I don't have any fuel. I run out. But I guess it's good. Charging. Oh, I'm going to run out of here. GTFO. It is now commencing to GTFO. It became impossible to avoid the combination. Oh, well, I can't reach to. I'm not gonna bother reading those anymore since you guys can. Oh, you guys can't see all these. My webcam's in the way. Oops. Sorry. Not more of this red juicy gobbo. No. How am I supposed to get in there? Uh, oh, it didn't hurt me. Okay. Hmm. He said, "Then why the cast bug asked me for air?" So I've already read this one before. Now we get everything we need. We can make our acid. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I did it. Again. And I made it. Picked up a pot of acid. Hooray for acid. Not the type of acid you use on yourself. That's not good. There's a collapse, I need to find a way to climb. Oh, what? Watch my pro skill. What? Oh. I just need a box. Box! Box. Looking for a box. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, was that in zero? Yes. I 
did it. The sailboat made it to Bois, and he made it to Bois. I already read this one before. Bois. Hmm. I'm gonna change my webcam next video to please take the video too big. Cuts and bridges still. Okay, so I'm good. I'm just gonna eat this acid. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm gonna use it on this door. Oops. I can't use this item this way! Exclamation point. Take that, you stupid flesh washer. Yeah! Fear of my ass. Refinery. Hmm. I'm gonna get some gasoline. Why does it make that noise? Is that like the noise of success? Hmm. Running low on fuel. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Crystal clear. Oh, I guess I didn't have to like that. So apparently, there's enemies near. Crap. Still haven't seen one of them. What? Off doesn't affect the enemies. We have two. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Maybe. and something's clogging the pulley. Or 
there's no rope attached to it at all. I'll check it over here. Oh, I see it. Okay. Stop screaming. Okay, so what's my sanity at? My head is pounding and my hands are shaking. That's not good. Let's just stare into the light for a little bit. It's a nice torch. Makes things all get good. Almost out of fuel. So what's that? And it didn't change. Oh well, cry baby. Whoa! Maybe I do want to stay. I think it's going purple. Let's stay at it for a little bit. Longer. Everything was really purple. Hmm, is that good? Come on, fix yourself. Smart to run full speed ahead of this monster about. Oh no, well. Oh, I thought there was a torch in here, darn it. I'll run out of fuel in a moment. Oh, this little tiny candle. Purple everywhere. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna just stay here. Oh, well, everything's really wobbly. Oh, bless me. Wow. I cannot look at anything. This little candle better do something. Everything is like... Ugh. I can't control the control. I can't barely control it. Oh. Darn it. Save yourself, mister. Does light not save you? Look at this big candle. Come sane. Forget it. I can't get it fixed. Getting better. I oh, am. Yeah. This torch, so a candle in a confined room does not make it better, but torch in a big open room does.
Oh well, you're not gonna get better anytime soon. Might as well push her one. And I ran out of fuel. Well, fantastic. I've been in here already, haven't I? Yep. There's flies in here. Ba boom! Ba boom! Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Wait a minute, is my sanity uh I thought it was good. So what did I come down here for? This is the way. Just came from. I'm an idiot. Okay. So what am I doing in here? So I gotta go this way. Is there something in here? Please. Okay, so there's a thing with the pulley I gotta fix. What is clogging it? I can't tell. Is this the chest? No, it's not. <gasps> yes! So what is clogging you? Something... It's stuck. Something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption. What? Gonna work. I'm just clogging you. I don't understand. Can I use this acid on you? Am I, oh, am I supposed to use this oil over here to lube you? Wait, oops. Loop you up. Nope. What do I do? I don't understand. I'm stuck. Can I break these open? down here. Through the surface, the Dorky went to quarters, smothered him, and struggled to make sense of this situation. <laughs> Well, this is a good place to end the episode. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Holy crap! This is this is freaking scary.